basically just focus uh, on the game. We would leave it all on the pitch, right? Um, you could say that on the pitch, no one's your friend. So you got to approach it that way. You have to play your very best. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a game of FIFA, you know. So like I said, what stays on the pitch um, stays on the pitch, right? I'm pretty sure these guys will still be good friends after. Unless one of them uh, gets a red card against the other, you know, on a breakaway, takes them out from behind. No, I'm just kidding. But um, no, yeah, all to play for in this game. Really good players. They have similar play styles, very attacking base. They score a lot of goals. If you look at the their results in this qualifier, they have been outscoring their opponents by a lot of goals. So, oh man, we're looking at uh, two very top informed players at the moment. I think there's one way for a friendship to be truly tested, and that is in the grand finals of a FIFA tournament. And uh, this might be the opportunity for both of these players to uh, to really test those boundaries. But as you can see, we are underway now in our North American regional qualifier, number five, a grand final. And if you're just joining us, Bundle Loot, it does have the advantage in this game. Luke's already managed to go all the way through the losers, uh, the winner's bracket, excuse me, unbeaten. So for King CJ to become a champion here, he not only has to beat him once across two legs, but he has to get it done twice. Certainly does. It's gonna be it's gonna be a long journey, but we've seen it happen plenty of times throughout this global series. Jackson. For example, he's uh, won titles. He won three in a row, uh, some of which came from the lower bracket. He has had to take out the the the, the upper bracket finalist twice. It's definitely possible. You just got to take it game by game. Uh, we've seen King CJ playing very well, outscoring his opponents. And, I mean, King CJ just got off out of a very intense game. So, I don't know. I feel like he's currently warmed on the sticks. Luke said that he was watching the games instead of playing the game so let's just see the, their confidence confidence levels what they're looking like right now well cj's gonna have the first real opportunity here to get inside of the 18 yard box tries a couple of quick passes given away though a little bit sloppily and you can see the attempted stop up an elastico there from king cj showing like you said that he is warm on those sticks wins the corner which will be whipped in here keeper should collect that one and it's just with a punch though and Sanchez is going to be have to be careful here. And Edison kind of pats that one down and finally gets the ball in his hands. He's going to have to spit into those gloves a little bit more for that extra grip, you know. Um, but CJ, very interesting set piece. I, definitely coming from the training ground. I've seen plenty of those corner kicks coming from him. And I mean, they've been working out just getting the ball super high up to the back post and trying to get ahead on it with those players that are really, really good in the air. Ronaldo. Almost managed to turn his man there. And one thing I've noticed about the way that Luke's plays this game and has developed his game over recent time is how effective he is, not just with the player lock, but baiting the player lock as well. Is that something that you've seen coming more and more into the top, top echelons of FIFA over the last month or so? A hundred percent. And it's definitely a very useful tool. The, the new player lock that was introduced as FIFA 21. All you have to do is basically press and hold down on both analog sticks, L3, R3 and you basically have control of the players off the ball and you can like bait the defender Ooh, he got brought down free kick top of the box but yeah you can basically bait the defender into thinking you're going to play the player that you're controlling off the ball and once they go and guard that player then you can quickly switch back to the ball carrier and take advantage of all the space that was opened up it's a very useful tactic king cj there trying something off the training ground not just the corners that have been effective for him today but also, you can see just trying that off the ball run and trying the first time fake shot to try and get a shot on goal, but well defended by uh, bundled Luke's. Now it's going to be Luke's chance to really go forward for the first time in 26 minutes gone on the clock, just inside this first half an hour, just waiting for that movement in front of him. Is instead going to go out wide to Kulisevsky. He's not someone we've seen too much of today. He's still doing a pretty good job at this stage of FIFA. Good turning and twisting from the Swede. He goes back now to Ferland Mendy, driven across with pace and purpose now. But good patience here from Luke's, just waiting for those strikers to make that little run before he can find that ball in. And Ronaldo with the directional nutmeg got past one, but not past the second. Great defense right there from CJ. That Reese James is so good. I use it myself. Great tackle. He's pacey. And honestly, I think this game is going to come down to who defends a bit better. Both of these guys are very high scoring um, FIFA players. They are very good when it comes to attacking. Um, so I feel like the person that, that locks up in the defense a lot more, a lot better, is going to ultimately have that advantage. Also, though, you got to be clinical going forward. 
Uh, I'm just excited to see how this game panels out because like we have some top competitors right now. These guys have taken out some some not only regional giants, but some global giants that have made it to like global events and who have seen a lot of success this FIFA 21. So, I mean, this is it for the title right here. The money, the, the trophy that looked really nice uh, in their backdrop, all to play for. There's a little bit of space here for Cristiano Ronaldo. Decides to go back inside to Kylian Mbappe, who tries a finesse shot from distance there. Maybe just trying something a little bit different to catch the goalkeeper off guard, but not quite accurate enough with that shot. But just back to your point there with some of the names that have been taken down. It just shows the depth now that there is in North American FIFA. Not something that there was, say, two or three years ago, but now there's so many top, top-level competitors, which is only going to drive the standards up further on. It really is, 100%. We're seeing a lot of... Brand new faces, some players. Ooh, great chance right here, Ronaldo. Oh, to the hands of Ederson. That was a very, very great chance right there from CJ. But yeah, we've seen a lot of competitors uh, immersing into the competitive scene. Some of these guys aren't brand new to FIFA. They're just seeing a lot of success this FIFA. It's super important to like adapt to every different FIFA variation. We've seen some competitors that have been competing for several years, but at the same time, we're seeing a lot of uh, brand new faces and they're having a lot of success on FIFA 21. It just goes to show that there's just a lot of great players in the North American region. Well, here comes a bundled Luke's and there is that directional nutmeg again. This time, the frame and the size of Reese James will work to stop that going in. And it's been a little bit of a touchy first half. You can see that both of these players know each other incredibly well. And it's showing in that first 45. No massive chances really to report from either end honestly yeah it's it's a very cagey affair and it's very surprising because these guys are known to score a lot of goals so right now they're just testing each other out they definitely know what they're working with now very early on i want to see what they do in the second uh leg the first goal is going to be very important like we've seen in the last matchup Matias, he just gained a soaring confidence after scoring that goal and let me tell you once you get that taste of finding a goal hitting that back of the net it just really does spark up your attack and it gives you that confidence that you need. And I mean, you need that confidence in these championship moments. Especially with the playoffs just around the corner now. This is something that really is creeping up on players day by day. So hitting form at the right time of the year, peaking as everybody calls it in the competitive scene is so, so important. And both these players seem to be doing it. It's Kulisevsky coming back and doing a little bit of defensive work there. And once again, getting involved on this near side to win that ball back. But it's always interesting to me to see when you have two players go up against each other who know each other so well, Alan, because it's about who wants to make the change first, who wants to try something a little bit different and take the initiative. That is what it comes down to, 100%. Once you play against someone that you've been sparring against, you start to pick up on their tendencies, their habits. You know exactly what they're going to do. So this makes it so difficult to then play them in a championship moment. You're basically playing against your sparring partner. They know who you are. You train with them. And it can be nerve-wracking. I'm not going to lie because you start thinking, you start second-guessing yourself. That's why it's important to be unpredictable. I feel like it comes down to being unpredictable. Um, you've got to have so many different weapons in your arsenal, great attacking plays, skill moves and just think outside the box be creative take those risks at times as well they'll pay off there's a little bit of a counter attack on here you can see the player lock can be baited once more mendy has to be very very careful as he puts that tackle in onto neymar did incredibly well there king cj to make sure he didn't concede that penalty neymar just going to be caught out wide there but no free kick going to be given the referee's going to let that one play into the last half hour of this first leg and still no real big chances on goals for either player so far. Really hasn't. It's just been a battle in the midfield. Both of these guys are playing very good defense. And as I said, I feel like it's going to come down to who defends better because that chance is going to arise. And whoever scores that goal, they're just going to have to make sure they continue defending very nicely. I mean, both of these guys are not only good offensively, but defensively as well. We can see the player switching, the, the marking. Bruno Fernandez here, top of the box, Mbappe. Maybe it will be Bruno Fernandez who can apply a little bit of magic, a little bit of creativity and feed someone like Kylian Mbappe. Goes back inside, shot. No. And now the overhead kick just wide of the mark. But that was the first real big chance of the game. 
and it fell to bundled Luke's. I thought that was going to go in for Luke's. He did everything right there. Mbappe, nice inverse Elastico, found the player inside of the box. I don't know why he shot it towards the defender. That that right side of the net was wide open, ready to feel the ball hit it. And I mean, great defensive play there from CJ. Honestly, he's gonna, he's going to be thanking his defenders there. It, it, that's honestly, like you said, the clearest attack that we have seen so far. And it definitely was a very good one. A lot of potential. Yes. Mbappe trying to wriggle his way through. And just to illustrate your point, once again, just fantastic defending on both sides so far. Still nil-nil here. Well, that was the real big opportunity, but both players have worked themselves into great positions, Alan. It's just been the final third where that last-ditch tackle has come in. With well, that last opportunity to stop the chance being created has been there. And there's another example of it. An interception just as that ball was looking dangerous. Yeah, you're going to have to make sure that you are effective with your opportunities. Ooh, nice little player lock right there in Bape. We've been seeing it a lot from King CJ, and it's been paying out. It's little things like that that you need in these situations against someone that you, you're very familiar with, someone that you've played against the whole lot. You need to think outside the box, try different things out, different mechanics. And I mean, King CJ, he's, he's busting out different weapons. I really didn't see him using it a whole lot compared to how, how he is now. I mean, Bundles, Luke's, he, he had that, that clear opportunity. It's just a matter of taking it. Maybe there's going to be another opportunity here for Luke's. As Mbappe is going to feed Cristiano Ronaldo. Sets off on his bike as he gives that ball back to Bruno Fernandes. Something building here. Something brewing for Bond of Luke's. There's that directional nutmeg. Ronaldo across goal. Van der Sar for the first real time in the game. Called into action. And no surprise to see him equal to it. Great save right there. The shot angle probably wasn't the best. But I mean, Bond of Luke's. Testing out the goalkeeper, letting the goalkeeper know that he has attacking players there. We're seeing Luke Stone a bit more dangerous, creating more than King CJ at the moment. Um, nice play, you know, 81st minute, and it's still nil-nil. I find this really, really surprising because, I mean, these guys are known to be scoring a lot of goals. Look at King CJ, see zero shots on target. That right there just goes to show how good Bono Luke's is at defending. And the same could be said both ways, to be honest with you. It has seemed like Luke's has just kind of had the read on a lot of what CJ's been trying so far. We haven't seen him really get that ball into those front two and cause real problems, get into those 1v1 situations, which is where King CJ kind of excels a little bit. Maybe from this attack, there'll be that opportunity as Fernandez does find that ball into Ronaldo. Again, just no space between the lines as Lucas now is on the pitch, the super sub. It's going to just be immediately dispossessed by Joao Cancelo. And that's kind of been the story so far. You are Cancelo. Such a great fullback. I have him in my squad. Possesses everything you need, honestly. Great tackle, the pace. And as we can see right there, it's more than just making that tackle. The way Lucas is jogging that fresh Lucas that King CJ, just brought, King CJ just brought in. It just goes to show these guys are really locked in. It's going to be very difficult to beat them. You got to hit them with the skill move because if not, he's just going to snap the ball away from you. Maybe it's going to be a fullback getting forward that changes the momentum in this game as Davis now whips one in towards the near post. And it's Mbappe or Walker who got the final touch. But Edison is called into a save and now from the corner, Fernandez will go towards the back post. The ball will break free and CJ in the last moments here, is putting on all sorts of pressure. And Luke's will quite happily send that one out of play to end the game. Nil-nil after the first leg, but what a final moment that could have been. It could have been an amazing moment for CJ right there. Once again, the same corner kick tactic that we have seen. Playing it far to the back post, super high up there for the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo. Nearly troubled. Luke's is back line right there. King CJ nearly had a goal there, but once again, Luke's having a player there to stop the shot. I believe King CJ, oh no, he did have a shot towards the end there with that nice little cross, but nil-nil, just very interesting game so far. Very Cajun. I mean, it's just very odd seeing these guys not scoring. And right here, that was honestly the best chance. Nearly scored the, the bicycle kick there with Mbappe as well. That would have been honestly probably goal of the tournament today.
I mean, production team didn't have too much of a job to find. Actually, had a hell of a job to find some highlights, to be honest with you. There was a couple of saves. There was that chance, like you just mentioned, that could have been sent the other way, that shot. But right at the end here, it'd be interesting to know who got that final touch. Davies using his pace and just whipping it into that front post. You can see Mbappe, I think, got the final touch there to force the safe in from Edison. But there's some tweets coming in as well. Unfortunate way to lose, but congrats to my boy King CJ for the win. Good luck to both players. Good to hear that from you, Serge, as well as uh, the support coming in for King CJ. Lou the Warrior. Luke, excuse me. I mean, I don't know what's in the water, to be honest with you, Alan, that he's drinking if he's looking like that. Um, I don't know. I think some people in the in the chat want to know what's in that water. I don't know. Just saying. But um, wow, Luke's. I guess I, guess I got to start buying those eight gallon. What, what is that? Is that an eight gallon jug? I don't know, man. It's a lot of water. It's a lot more than I consume in a day anyway. And then the message coming in here from UT Goat. Quite simple, that one. Luke's, good luck. Quite right. And we love the fact that you guys are supporting these players and showing them some love on socials. Because to be honest with you, Alan, they deserve it. And as a player, you'll know how much that means to jump on socials and see that support. It really does mean a whole lot. These guys, right, they, they live stream. I know Luke's has built a community. And it just means so much whenever you have um, supporters, people that, you know, support you through it all. They, they're there during your, your lows, your highs. They, they see you grind, right? They see you through the struggle, the, the, the lab, sort of say. Whenever you're in the lab, they're there with you, cooking it all up. So when it comes to the big day, it's just not only special for the player, but also for the supporters because you feel like you were part of it as well as a supporter. Well, second leg underway then. And King CJ, who needs the bracket reset, remember, needs to win this game in order to give himself the opportunity at the bracket reset at another two legs of FIFA. Only needs the one goal as it stands. But for Bundled Luke's, the same can be said about him. The only difference is if he scores that one goal and the score doesn't change from there, he will be your North American champion. It's going to be King CJ. He's looking for that direction. Not make cheap back heel from Carl Walker. No pressure being felt by him in that situation. Going back to the goalkeeper. Oh man, testing out Ederson's footwork right there. Oof, the ball just went out of bounds right there. You got to be careful if you're CJ there. You don't want to put all the trust on the goalkeeper. You know, Brazilians are known to have some nice skill moves. A lot of five-star skillers come from there. Like some Neymar, Robinho, Ronaldinho, R9. I don't know about Ederson, though. I don't know. That's the classic it's cliche, isn't it? He's a good goalkeeper with his feet. Good with the ball at his feet, but... It's not where you want him to be doing a lot of his work. You don't want him to be doing any work. You want him to be anonymous, to be honest with you, if you're playing well. But that team of the season, Edison, I tell you, he is one solid goalkeeper in between the sticks, as we're now going to see maybe an opportunity here. Walker, he's going to make a vital tackle, though, for Bundled Luke's. And that was a great bit of reading of the play there to know how that player was going to turn and deal with it accordingly. 100%, very good anticipation. Honestly, with defending, what these guys like to do is anticipate the pass, and they cover all the spaces, which makes it so difficult to do anything with the ball. And um, you, you, know, you only know this. You figure it out once you come up against a player of, of these two um, quality, right? The quality of these two players. They're very, very solid defensively. Honestly, I would say they're even better than the ultimate difficulty uh, in squad battles, a lot better. It's just, it feels like you're coming up against, against a computer that's basically reading every single pass you're going to make, every single dribble you're going to make. These guys are, are, are really good at what they do. This has just been a deadlock so far. Both players just cancelling each other out at every opportunity. They are reading each other like a very, very simple monologue at the moment. As we're going to see Kulisevsky now step forward for Bundle Luke's, who's had the bigger chances of the game. I hasn't been able to put them away as yet. Here's Neymar now. Maybe he can provide the spark. Still patience in the build-up, though. Mbappe, you're going to try something a little bit different again with that finesse shot. Now you're going to see the player lock, and you're going to see Ronaldo bearing down on it, trying to get his... Again, a stalemate between defense and attack. We got to keep an eye out for that move right there from Bundle Lukes. I seen him score a goal identical to that right there, what he tried to do earlier on today. That player lock switch, when he has a player down the wing, he switches to the player inside the box, calls for a cross, and heads it in. Didn't work that time, but you could definitely tell that he's seen a lot of success with it. Especially if you can just pull the player off as well and just get a little two-yard run, a little head start on the defender. It is so, so effective. 
As we're now going to see a wonderful ball through. And it is going to be Neymar. He's going to be looking for that ball into the box. He's going to find Ronaldo. And Alan Harvey's crystal ball is working perfectly. There you go. We were talking about it moments before. The play happened. And it happened. Luke's definitely very familiar with what with what he just did right there. Amazing goal. Utilizing the 99 jumping on Cristiano Ronaldo. Heading the ball into the back of the net. We got a deadlock. And now for King CJ. And his work is now cut out. And Luke's has something to hold on to. And CJ has to beat him not just once, but twice as well. Here's Ronaldo. And there's Walker, who's done a great job of marshalling Cristiano Ronaldo in this game. Reese James, though, is going to head down on goal. Straight down the throat of the goalkeeper, Edison. And then once again, King CJ trying to replicate with Lou. Did just there, but didn't quite work out. You could just tell that these guys are very confident in, in these little things that they are doing. These little set, set pieces, set plays. And it's so important to have all of this heading into a professional competitive tournament. You need to be ready in all sorts of situations. Wonderful ball here to Neymar. And once again, Reese James has to come across and deal with it. But you can just see waiting for that, not only dealing with it, playing the pass back off of Neymar as well to win the ball back. But you have to say, since going down, King CJ has looked a lot more dangerous, trying to be a lot more direct in towards his strikers. 100%. CJ trying to do everything that he possibly can. Ronaldo, though, break away. Mbappe in the middle. Varane trying to come across to deal with it. And there's Rafael Varane, and that's what he does best. It will be a corner here, though. And a chance, maybe. The bundle loops to find a goal. As Cristiano Ronaldo peels away, it's going to be a combination of Varane and Mendy. Danny Aarons is having nightmares here in that, but let's get the defensive work done. And there's Reese James to join the party as well. Big boy Reese James. He is just such a good defender, this FIFA. Highly recommend him. He wins tackles with ease. He definitely is ready to play. He's that defender that will save your life. Neymar here. Neymar with that ball rolling again. It's just defensively. I'm going to wait for this to play out because I know how that kind of thing works when I'm about to say something and praise someone. Luke's has been superb in those 1v1 situations. I can't remember any time where he hasn't won. He's been at a disadvantage in positions, Alan. Oh, exactly. You know, and that just is so impressive. It's not easy to defend that well whenever... It's a one-on-one -on -one situation against a, a skiller like Neymar, Mbappe, Ronaldo. He's just been playing really, really good right now. Super locked in, focused. What he's doing right now, he's making it seem very easy, but it really is not that easy. He's honestly having a great game defensively. And I mean, if he scores another goal, it's going to be even more difficult for CJ to come back against a player like Luke, who's playing amazing in the defense. There's Mbappe. He might get a second chance at this, but Mendy will come across to... Clean up the mess. And the ball will be played out now. And at half time here in the second leg of our grand final, just the one goal separates the two gentlemen in your screen right now. A textbook sip of the water on one side. Luke's has just got to keep calm, keep composed. And if he does not concede, which would be an amazing feat in itself across two legs of FIFA against CJ, then he will be your champion. It really would be something to be proud of, something that would be very respected to keep a clean sheet against a player like CJ, who has been honestly dominating a lot of top players in the North American region. We just seen Luke's take a, a sip of water and we know what, what that water can do. It's become like a, a part of, a, of his brand. You know, he needs to take advantage of that. We've seen what the water can do, the effects of it. But 45 minutes away from being the North American champion, and, oh, it means so much to him, his fans. However, though, cannot rule out King CJ. King CJ is locked in right now. He, he has been in these situations before. It's definitely not over. We've seen him come back from, from games where it seemed impossible for him to come back from. He's a great player. And let me tell you, the second half is going to get pretty crazy. We've seen some crazy comebacks already in the tournament across the last couple of days, both on Xbox and PlayStation. And the grand final was the best place of all to make that comeback and really announce yourself. 
as a potential champion of North America, but it's going to be King CJ here who steps in and wins that ball back quickly. A little hill to hill to get away from the pressure behind. But then again, I don't think there's been a 1v1 that Luke's has lost so far. He's just been there at the perfect time. The tackles are just on point right now. You can say he's green timing his tackles. That's how good they are. Just CJ, honestly, uh, is having a very difficult time breaking down his defense. It's just not easy at all. Luke's with the likes of uh, of Reese James. If, you, if you're defending perfectly with Reese James, he's not going to let you down. Well, here's Cristiano Ronaldo tiptoeing across. Kulisevsky will go back inside. Maybe this is the chance now for Luke's to get that second. And that is the best analogy I've heard for solid tackling in a while. By the way, <laughs> the green time tackles could not have summed up the way that <laughs> Luke's has defended so far. No, it looks like, yeah, I feel like some people are going to be like, wait, you can green time tackles? Because <laughs> it looks like it, man. I'm going to have to look it up and see if it's, if it's a thing after this game. But, I mean, right now, Bruno Fernandez, CJ, let's see what we can do with the ball possession. If he starts attacking differently, throws some a curveball, sort of say, at Luke's. Well, time's starting to become somewhat of an issue for him now. As you can see, only 30 minutes left, but maybe this is the chance that he's been looking for. Ronaldo, directional nutmeg, and again! What a tackle that is from Bundled Leaks. You guys can't see it right now, but I had to clap in respect to that tackle inside of the box. Head. That's what I'm saying. It's just a respected tackle inside the box you got to be super confident in your defensive abilities to do something like that at this level, at the championship moment. Here's Bruno Fernandez tries to fake shot again. Guess who's there? Here's the guardian of the goal, and it is Reese James once more. He will make a heroic tackle just when it matters. And for King CJ, this is going to be so frustrating now. You're trying everything you can. You're getting into good positions. You're isolating defenders 1v1, and you can't take the opportunities. And now at the other end, Neymar... Might be looking for the misery compiler. Here's Bruno Fernandez. Reese James steps in. Fernandez will keep the ball though. And the pressure will still be here for King CJ to deal with. Kulisevsky. Dash for that finesse again. Sanchez keeps the pressure on. And finally, King CJ can get out. Oof. Gives the ball right back to Lukes. I want to see when Lukes is going to stop tacking the way he is right now. I want to see when he's going to start to like slow the game down, knowing that he's in the lead by one time management. I want to see if he's going to continue going forward or if he's going to put a pause to the attack and sort of keep ball possession, time manage, because it, we're, we're drawing near to an end. Well, here's Cristiano Ronaldo. With the way that this game has gone so far and the way that Lukes has defended, you feel like another goal here, and this could be all she wrote for King CJ. However, if you believe in the Cinderella story, then it might only take one opportunity to strike on goal for King CJ to get back in this game. Maybe force extra time. Maybe force that bracket reset. As the town now dances his way towards goal. Sanchez. Through ball here to Neymar. Gets away from one. Finally beats the man and finally breaks down Luke's. And it's Neymar who applies the finishing touch. And there it is for King CJ finding the goal that he has been looking for in the 4-3-1-2, I believe, narrow. Big goal right there for CJ. Luke's is going to feel hard done about that one. He, he's going to be, be questioning his defender there, questioning why he didn't win the ball. He was so close to winning it. But CJ staying cool, calm, and collected when it matters in the championship moments. Well, what a game that we have in store right here. They're making tactical adjustments. You can see Vidal and Traore on the pitch for King CJ. And we've already seen King CJ have an impact with Adama Traore. And uh, a fascinating game. You can see it was for the first time there that Bundle Lukes just didn't time the tackle. And Reese James stepped in, Neymar stepped away. And the rest, as they say, was history. But it just goes to show the margins, Alan. One misstep after being flawless up until this point. We're now tied up. And that is what comes with playing at this high level, especially against a great opponent. You cannot afford to lose focus. 
you have to be playing at 100% the entire game, especially if it's a KG affair, a very close game. The focus levels are just unreal. You have to honestly give it your all, and it can be very tiring after a game because of how, how hard you have to focus and to, to, to concede a goal. Whenever you've been playing great defense like that, it can, it can really feel pretty frustrating. Adama Troyore putting the pressure on. Ronaldo's going to be under this one as well. Edison will half deal with this. Mendy will put it behind for another corner. So another chance here for CJ to look for one of those set pieces that have been so, so deadly. Looks like it's going towards the back post. Looks like it's going towards Ronaldo and he's going to be cut out this time. And it will just be a goal kick. <laughs> CJ sticking true to his set piece from the corner. Just he, he has faith that he's going to score from there. He believes we're approaching the final moments of this game, the second leg. If we see a goal right now, that could potentially be the game winner. Potentially be a championship winner here for Luke's if it goes his way. And inside the last five minutes or so now, it's going to be Luke's who is on the attack. Sanchez looking for the opportunity to play into Cristiano Ronaldo. Rafael Varane steps in aggressively and wins it back. And now CJ. He might not be able to come a champion with this attack, but he can certainly reset the bracket. And then start that part of his journey. Oh man, right now, the nerves are at an all time high. These guys are zoned in, heart beating. Super important moments right here. The doubt. CJ. Looking for one goal to reset the bracket as Neymar almost breaks through with a hill to hill. And I'm not sure if there's going to be time left. Yes, there is. One more. As Fernandez <gasps> decides to go backwards instead of forwards. And we are sliding our way towards extra time. Ooh, I don't think King CJ meant to do that. You can just tell whenever that ball went off of the foot of his player, he sort of reacted in a way that just showed that he didn't mean to do that. But hey, he, he scored that goal. And he still has some life in this game. He can force a bracket reset. We're going to extra time. Oh, man. I, I think these guys are going to stay true to what they've been playing. They they've been playing very good. It's been a very back and forth game. Very close affair at the end of two legs. One all. Just two goals apiece. I mean, one thing to take away. We saw how uh, jovial CJ was before the game. And we saw that Luke's looked very relaxed. They both look incredibly nervous right now because they know that one goal is what could be what decides the fate of this game. If it's going to be a championship for Luke's, if it's going to be a bracket reset for King CJ. So amazing how the emotions can shift so, so quickly over 90 minutes of FIFA. 100% right. Right now, both of these guys know how big this, this win is. This next goal is huge. Absolutely huge. We're in extra time. Time goes fairly quick in extra time. And I mean... That, that's what comes with competing at the high level. It, it, it not only comes down to your mechanical abilities, but it comes down to your mental abilities. The way you stay calm, you can't panic. Oh, right here, oh, playing again. Reese James with heroics for Luke's. It looked like there was absolutely no chance for the future star to get near that ball, but that was a star studded tackle at just the right moment again. That right there is another example of a green time slide tackle. Just just amazing, <laughs> honestly. Like, props to Luke's for staying just so calm there and trusting his defender with that slide tackle. That could easily been a pin. If it's a different referee, a referee that likes to see pins, he could have called it a pin. But Luke's is confident in his defensive abilities. Well, Neymar's in behind here. And now you're going to say Neymar bury it in a... And Luke's might have just scored the goal to win him a championship. We could potentially be looking at the championship goal for Bono Luke's right there. He is ahead once again, CJ. Can he come back to force this to a bracket reset? Oh, man. Here's Mbappe, though. And I tell you what, CJ does not want to let this one slip through his fingers here. Fernandez into the feet of Neymar. There's a roulette and the ball's going to fall, but it's going to fall to Mendy. Constant pressure now from King CJ. Mbappe through on goal. And Mbappe will be offside. Oh, Mbappe. 
Why did you not stay on side? That is what's going through King CJ's mind right now. Big opportunity right there. Oh, I can't, it can't, it's kind of like a tease seeing the ball hit the back of the net for the, for the goal to not only count. Uh, but oh my goodness, we're, we're heading into the final half of extra time on set. I, I just honestly am ready for it. It's, it's about to be, get crazy. I feel like these guys are going to change their tactics. King CJ, uh, I think it's time to tell everyone to go forward. I agree with you. I think it's uh, everybody go make yourself a hero. Whoever it is, I don't care. As long as you apply the finishing touch to bring me back into this game. And even if he finds an equalizer, then we have to go to the penalty spot. I mean, it's going to be carnage either way. But for the man on your screen right now, Bundled Luke's, I mean, all you do is keep CJ at bay. But that is so much more difficult to do. I think one huge moment in this is who's going to have kickoff in this second half. And it is going to be CJ, I believe, who has the ball. Or excuse me, Luke's who has the ball. And now it's going to be CJ who gets possession back. So a little bit of a waste there from Bottle Luke's. Definitely a waste of possession. But look, you can already see all the numbers. Look at all the numbers going forward. Amazing. And I came up against CJ before in these exact same moments where he was chasing a game. And let me tell you, he knows how to apply that pressure. And he will take advantage of every opportunity he gets. So if you're Luke's here, you got to breathe in and try your very best to see this game out. Oh, he's giving the ball away, and you have to put that down to nerves. Vidal tries to fire it forward. Maybe a little bit of desperation. Understandable here from King CJ. He just wants to get a touch of that ball. He wants the opportunity to formulate one more attack. But maybe it's going to be Luke's here, who's going to finish this off. Alfonso Davis denied by Van der Sar. Oh, that right there would have sealed the deal. Championship secure for Luke's, but Van der Sar said no. There's still some game in there. There's still some fight in us. Dribbles out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is going to be one of the last attacks of the game. One of the last opportunities for King CJ to force this to penalties and keep his chances alive of becoming a champion. Adama Traore, that's a vital touch from Shao Cancelo. However, possession still here for CJ. He still has some opportunities to score. Luke's is going to have to continue playing. The defense that he has been playing this entire series has been clutching up defensively. Now this is where it matters. This is where it matters. All that work you put in, it comes down to this great interception there. We did see CJ trying to go with that double pass and we got the counter on set. And now you got Atal flying through on goal here. He's got Ronaldo in the middle as well. Smart play though from Bundled Luke's realizing that a goal isn't going to change the situation. It's going to be all about keeping hold of the ball as we tick over into the last minute of this game. And it's looking like the most hydrated man in North America can finally call himself a champion. He runs back towards goal. He keeps hold of the ball. Oh. And it is going to be a goal kick here. And at the end of the day, Alan, you have to say King CJ is going to be extremely happy with what he has achieved today. He came in with one goal, and that is to get to the playoffs. But at the end of play here, the man who is your North American regional champion is Bundled Lukes. Bundled Lukes is the champion. You can just see how much it means to him. Oh, smiles. Yeah, I'm surprised the water is not making an appearance. But look at it. He's just in disbelief. He's super happy what he just accomplished. It's going to be very big for him, for his community, for his family, his supporters. North America qualifier number five champion. Amazing stuff. And you cannot say that he did not deserve it either. Every single round that we've seen him, he's been in what felt like just total control of his opponents. Even in that game, to keep King CJ down to one goal across the two legs plus extra time. A man who has been flowing forward, scoring freely. Is something to be commended, but commiserations to King CJ. Today was not the day for the championship. However, let's take ourselves back just a few games ago. Secured his spot at the playoffs. Alan, it's been a great day for both of these players. It really has been. All credit props to King CJ. He played amazing throughout this qualifier, took out big names. And as you mentioned, he qualified to the playoffs, secured that playoff spot, which is really, really big. It was a big goal of his. Unfortunately, he could not get the North American title, but just a great player. And ultimately, I think it came down to defense. What I was talking about before the game, 
I felt like the better defender was going to win. And I really do think Lou played amazing defense. He got the goals that he needed and then he secured the lead with that defense. The slide tackles inside the box with Reese James, the great one-on-one -on -one green type tackles. Amazing player. Luke's all credit, all deserved. All credit, all deserved. All smiles for the man on your screen, Bundles Luke's. He is your North American regional qualifier number five champion. It's time for us to go for another break now. When we get back, plenty of analysis, and we'll hear from the man himself.